Something that a financial planner can do for you is to help you develop a sensible approach to spending. Some clients spend too much. Others, perhaps out of fear or guilt, really don't spend enough. Carl Richards is a former advisor and an expert on spending habits. His advice is to prioritize spending on time spent with loved ones. To me, the best examples I can point to of stuff that we've spent a lot of money on that at the time I remember, and still to this day, even like the next time we do this, I'll still feel the same way because it's hardwired, are experiences with our kids and our family, and even personally. And uh, like one example would be a trip that we just went on to the States and we went to Grand Teton National Park and we rented a boat and we spent five days water skiing and uh, it was like when I look at, at the aftermath, like when I start adding up the, the receipts on the credit card bill to get ready to pay the credit card back off, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, we spent so much money. But I already know that we'll look around at each other and go, would we do it any different? There's no way. There is, in fact, evidence to show that spending on experiences, holidays, for example, makes us happier than spending money on stuff. But Carl says we shouldn't feel guilty about buying physical items, especially those that will really last. One of his most successful purchases was a rather expensive outdoor jacket. It's 10 years old now. And I can actually, it's, it's like both stuff and experiences, because I can actually, it's, it's, it, there's patina, right? Emotional patina now, because this thing's been around long enough. I mean, I know, I, even if I look around the house at pictures on the wall, I can see this jacket, right? I can see this jacket in New Zealand. I can see this jacket in the Alps. I can see this jacket in the Wasatch Mountains of Utah. I know who I was with. I love the old saying, buy nice or buy twice, right? I, I make the argument that this was less expensive like less expensive than at least three of the jackets I would have already worn through. Of course, if you can't afford something, you shouldn't buy it. If you can afford it, this is what Carl suggests you do. I mean, there's a couple of things you have to go through. No, number one, like I, I love letting those things simmer just a little bit to make sure, because we all know how often we've been like, I gotta have that thing. And so I keep like, one example would be um, books. On Amazon, I keep, uh, I, I've got a wait list, or it was, I think it's called a wish list on Amazon, that I've named 70, the 72 hour bin, right? And any book I buy has to go into the 72 hour bin. And it's amazing how many things have gone into the 72 hour bin that have never come back out, right? Because I had to have it and 72 hours later it's faded. So simmer, let those things simmer. Number two, if you can afford it after it's simmered and you're sure, go do it, right? Like just, I'm giving you permission. If you need permission, Carl grants you permission with my little, my little permission granting stick. Go do it. In summary then, prioritize spending on loved ones and experiences. But whatever it is, don't feel guilty about something you think you'll really love as long as you can afford it.